Hello guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials, and today I want to show you a very awesome Christmassy themed pattern in Photoshop. Making patterns in Photoshop is very fun sometimes, depends on how intricate the pattern is, but this one I think will be interesting and fun for you guys. Um, it's a plaid pattern. Um, we don't usually make patterns in Photoshop as a tutorial because they're usually not that hard to make, but this one I felt deserved a cool tutorial, so I'm going to show you how I did this in Photoshop, and I'll also show you how to use it in Photoshop as well, in some way. Okay, so we have a canvas. Um, I use 120 by 120. Um, you can go any, you can go smaller if you'd like, but don't go any bigger than that because it will destroy the way it looks in other ways of using it. So just go 120 by 120 or smaller, your your preference, but nothing bigger than that. All right, now the background color we have chosen is this one right here, um, 4B35110, or 10, 10, sorry, um, there we go. Um, mine's a layer zero, but that's only because I'm just going to do other things to it later on that don't contain to this tutorial. Um, then um, we have a new layer above that, we're going to add a new layer. And now we're going to make a perfectly, a perfect X right through here. Now, to make a perfect X, I will show you how to do that in a second. Uh, let me zoom in for this because for the further most part of this tutorial, you may need to zoom in so you can really get precise with this. Now, I've used the pencil tool for this because I like the pencil tool. It just works really well. Um, to get a perfect X from corner to corner, all you do is make a d hold down your shift key and make a dot in one corner. And with the shift key still ho still holding, make a dot in the opposing corner, and that will then give you a perfectly corner to corner line. Because I know most of you are not steady enough to make a perfect X. Am I right? I think I'm right. All right, and then just do the same for the next corner, and you'll have a perfect X of such. Now let me showcase the color of choice I've used for my X because you'll need that obviously. Um, I've used this lovely green hue here, three four five eight one B. Click OK, and we're good to go there. And now we're going to move on to making our lovely red square. Now, you're going to notice that in my next step, it is a diamond shape. I will show you how to get there. Don't you worry, guys. I would never leave you hanging like that. That's just so rude if I did that. All right, so make a perfect square in the dead center of this, in the center that's not too big. Um, something, as you kind of can see here, a size of that sort. Um, now the cutout center, I'll get there, don't worry. Um, so the color of red of your square needs to be this one here. F20231, click OK. And then to get to your lovely um, cutout part, um, we're going to go to Select, and you're going to click Modify. Now I cannot click Modify because my square is already cut out, so it's grayed out for me, but for you it should not be grayed out. If it is, then there's something you're doing wrong, and you'll need to go ahead and go back and see what's happening. But you should be okay with that. So go there, and you're going to select Contract. So go to Modify, and then select Contract, and then a thing will pop up saying, what do you want for your radius? Select 20px for your contract radius hit enter and then it will then do that hit delete and that will then delete the center of that and give you this lovely cutout square then once you have that lovely cutout square you're going to then rotate the square to a diamond shape like you see here now to rotate that just do a control T and it will pop up with the rotation it will pop up with the um, thing to rotate it, rotate that, you're good to go. Okay, so you have this shape now. So let's explain our further next step. Now this next step is also making a pattern in Photoshop because you need that to make it more plaid-like. So what we're going to do, we're going to open a new canvas and this is going to be a very, the smallest canvas size you can possibly ever make and this is going to be a one width by two height size. Alright, so it's so small you can barely even see it and that's okay. We don't need it. But what we need to do is make the background of this white because you know black and white. Alright, so we're going to go over here and grab our pencil tool again and this time we're going to use a one pixel size. Use one and with black as your color 
you're just going to make a black square right on the top. So you got a black square on top, white square on the bottom. Pretty cool. And it gets so easy, all you gotta do is go to edit and define pattern. So define that lovely black and white um, squares into a pattern. And then going back to your original document that you were just in, this one right here, you're gonna now make a mask layer on that diamond layer, just the diamond layer, make a mask layer, and you're gonna select the pattern that you just made using the for the um, pattern fill. Now the paint bucket tool, you can use a pattern fill, so go over here in your paint bucket tool and select the pattern you made, which is right here. And then you're going to, in your mask, in your mask layer, on that layer, you're going to fill it. So enable the mask layer, fill that layer, and you will get something like that. That's pretty cool. Now we're going to have to create more little diamond shapes in here because we're going to make it so the diamond goes every which way and all sorts of good stuff. So here's what's going to happen. You're going to duplicate that layer a few times. Um, as many times as you need to. So up at the corner there. And off to the side here. Now, when you duplicate each layer, we need to make this lovely pattern visible that we just made. But we still want to have that lovely small square of the main color. How do you get that exactly? Well, let me show you. So I'm going to enable this layer and I will explain. So you see how I have a red, a red square right there. What you do is you go to image and adjustments and you must be clicked on your mask layer when doing this. And you're going to go to image and adjustments and you're going to click invert. Invert will then invert that layer so that the color will show in parts of it and the color and the pattern we just made will show on the other parts. So continue doing that for each corner, or each side rather. And then you should have something like that. That, my friends, is our entire pattern. So if we zoom out, that's our plaid pattern, sort of. So now we are all set. Um, you can go ahead and make it smaller if you like um, at this point. But in order to do that, you'll have to merge in the entire, um, the entire thing. Um, in order to make it work out to the best of your knowledge, but I'm going to stress this right now. If you do resize this right now, the pattern overlay that we made is going to be a little more pixelated. So you want to make sure that if you don't like the size, that you alter the size prior to doing the pattern overlay. I probably should have mentioned that before, huh? Yeah? Well, sorry. Anyway, so that's what it's going to look like when you're all done. So go over here to edit, and you'll hit down here, um, where is it? Mine's grayed out, because um, obviously I've already made the pattern. But go ahead and merge those together, so flatten your image um, if you like it, and then go to edit, and then define the pattern. Name it whatever you want, and then it will show up in your um, pattern section everywhere. Now over here, I'm just going to show you what it would look like on um, on some text. But again, you can use this basically on anything. Um, if you were to design, if you were designing pants or a shirt, perfect opportunity. And double click this, add a pattern overlay. Um, we'll select our new made pattern. Um, click OK, and that's essentially what it looks like as a pattern. So it's kind of cool, I think, sort of. Um, but yep, that's it. That's my tutorial of the week. Um, I hope it was informational. Hope it wasn't too boring. Um, if you love this, hit the like button. I love likers. Um, and that also shows me that you were here and that you weren't just disappearing from this channel. Um, if you want to see more stuff that is Photoshop related, or Adobe related I should say, hit the subscribe button. I try and post twice a week, but I do at least post once a week, but sometimes twice. You just never know. I am mysterious with that. Um, and so with that, I'm going to dash out and leave you alone to do other cool things with your everyday life. Happy holidays, everybody. See you next week.